All right, Hag. Any last words? You're going to let her speak after what she's done. It's the right of any mortal. And what about Dekathus? Did this hag give him his say? Sorax is right, Clara. We don't have to stoop to their level. And besides, I want to hear her beg. <laughs> so, Hag, what of it? Anything to say before we send you to the gods? Seven days. What's that? Speak up, witch! In seven days, a fog will descend on all your houses. It will consume your livestock, your spouses, your children. And it will Zorax continue for, for all eternity. Until the four of you are forever bound to the void! Well, that was disappointing. I thought she'd at least offer us gold. Monsters don't fear death, and they have no understanding of mercy. It was wrong to let her speak. Perhaps you're right, but either way, she's dead now. Dercathos' soul will have peace. Dercathos was a fool, but he was also a friend. Shame what happened to him. This isn't your concern, stranger. Best you move along. She was a witch. Gods only know the evil she's wrought, but she won't be a nuisance any longer. An old Argonian friend of ours. A few years back, a lot of us quit the group to stay home and raise a family. Turkethus, he was more of a loner, so he kept up the fight on his own. We're witch hunters. We fight to cleanse the land of their foul sorcery. I suppose you could say that, although it's been some time since we've gotten together like this. But when I heard what happened to Torquethos, I didn't have a choice but to avenge his death. I would have enjoyed watching this happen. Torquethos was a fool, but he was also a friend. Shame what happened to him. I hope my husband doesn't find out about this. I promised him when we married, no more adventures. <sighs> Poor Decathus. He could have settled down like the rest of us, but he loved the hunt more than any woman. Hags and their curses. My children drink rock meth for breakfast. There's nothing in this world that can kill them. Of waiting. What was that? 
never get tired of killing these bastards. You'll pay for them! You call yourself a brother! I'm gonna put you down. That's the last of them. What about you, stranger? What about this city that speaks to you? Maybe you'd be for solitude then. When it comes to people, the name is misleading. It applies only to the atmosphere. The name is Jasper Gersten. I'm a raider. An aspiring raider. I always forget to add that word. Funny how large the chasm is between the two. Solitude, for lack of a better word, is suffocating. It's not just the walls and the people. It's the inside of the buildings, too. They all have the same thick, musky smell. Like the kind that you find in abandoned shacks. Boarded up windows, where the air is freckled with dust. Only in solitude, the windows are frosted. And when the light gets filtered through them, even the sun feels cold. I've tried. In fact, when I was in solitude, I wrote maybe hundreds of tales. None worth reading. I was still maturing then, looking for my voice. I would look back on something I penned a week before, shake my head at how shallow the words were, how empty they felt. I began to doubt if I could write anything of substance, and found my solace at the bottom of a flagon. 
I spent my nights at the winking skeever, and my mornings outside his door. Even Octave Sun found my behavior uncouth. One night, Corpulus got fed up, kicked me out into the streets, and told me to never come back. That's when I met my muse. No, not this time. Probably never will. My muse was different. He was a warrior, an orc. He was a titan, with arms like tree trunks cut from the great forest. Only, something wasn't right about the way he looked at the tavern sign. When I asked him what was wrong, he managed to force out a word. His bottom lip quivered like a child who just dropped a sweet roll. The word he said was skeever. It was a giant with shoulders larger than the domes of the Blue Palace. And he was absolutely terrified of rats. That night, for the first time, I wrote with purpose. There was none of the doubt or fear that marred my previous work. The words came faster than I could jot them down. For three days and three nights I continued. When I was done, I knew the work was true. It was the best manuscript I had ever written. It was the best I could ever write. About an orc who wouldn't follow. About the definition of strength and the fragile nature of the mind. About how even the bravest and boldest among us can succumb to an ordinary fear. On my way back to solitude, I stopped by Morthal. I met a red guard there, a blacksmith. I thought, who better to give the manuscript to? When I set the book on his table, it felt like a period, an end. But maybe it was more like a comma. Maybe all I needed was to start anew. So for Morthal, I went east, not west. And here I am. It was a wandering thought, passed on to a stranger. I was looking at the ocean this morning. I came to a realization. Skyrim is a tale with no end. We flip back to a previous page, only to find that the line's been changed. But the old themes still remain. There will always be war, suffering, glory, and love. Time never grows old. It's a season unending, a story everlasting. So it did in the Great War in the oblivion crisis and countless times before. The return of an ancient evil. The birth of a new one. Somewhere out there, a hero is waking up in a strange room, in a dungeon, or in their bed, rubbing their eyes to slow music in a bottle of warm mead. And it happens. The bard bangs his drum. The mead goes down like a knife in the throat. The city burns. A treasure is found. A boy meets a girl. The story I wrote was about a warrior. But good tales are never about the wars, but the people who fight them. That's why wars are so personal. Everyone has someone they lost. All of our fates woven into a single loom. Except mine. The world has its problems. I have my problems. Neither one cares about the other. The Nords are somewhat primitive. Some still think that wearing fine clothes without fur would mean you push up Daedra. But 
Simple minds can foster strong emotion. The Nords are people willing to swear their undying filthy to a fickling. That's what I'm trying to capture. <laughs> no. Not since Adonato rejected my last work. I'm trying a new style. This words more pith. As if each sentence were its own story. Traveling to Windhelm changed me in two ways. I now like the funds to travel. More importantly, the Constitution. Alas, no. I've heard that a writer's words must sing from the page. The bard takes that interpretation literally. I tried it once, singing. The demand for bards is much higher than for writers, which is evident by the number of people in Skyrim who can read. Ah, but Viermo is a poetic bard, not a singing one. He's also a talented lutist. I do none of the three. I'm the second worst person to seek advice from. The worst is Alexander Simon. At least my failures were never published for all the world to read. I see. You must have been curious to seek out one man's trifle in a world full of them. I almost feel the need to apologize for wasting your time. Thank you for the compliment. Sometimes I wonder if that's enough. If just one person enjoyed my work, maybe it was all worth it. Maybe then it all had purpose. Even as my voice was reduced to a whisper, there was someone out there bothering to listen. I... I admit, I never thought of that. Is it possible he never bothered to read it? I wonder if I should get a second opinion. But I don't know if my heart could take another rejection. If it's that bad, I don't see why it would help. But that book has no owner. Do with it as you wish. If you're headed that way, maybe you'll find someone back west in solitude where the book was conceived. I will stay here. I pray that someday I will pin something worthy of a name. All right then. Yes? Everyone thinks I'm too young to be a ship's captain, but I'm going to prove them wrong. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erander. Listen to your friend, Fruit. They are just dreams, my dear. Hey, I assure what? you that it is no quite need normal. To get it's the same. What do you need, I handsome? So. You think that's normal? It's evil. Please, <laughs> someone do something. Erander, she has a plan. Hey, you keep telling us no one will follow these things. That girl no, must best. be an omen. Get him! Kill him! He's trying to help us. Ah. What it's troubles you, my son? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, 
she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. You should think about Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display, like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I, I promise will. to answer Thank all you. of your questions. Follow me. The Windpeak Inn features the finest bard in all of Dawnstar. Me. I envy you, travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. Yes. Ever since my mother died a few winters ago. I play songs and help with the drinks when I have the time. My mother taught me. She was a bard from the college in solitude. I hear they accept most people who apply, if you're ever interested. Thanks a lot. Good talking to you. Yes. Need something? Yes. How's it going? Where are these vampires coming from? We need to wipe them out before things get worse. Until next time. Hello, friend.
Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the Miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the Miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. show you the source of the nightmares over here. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. The priest must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Yes, you're right. I should have. But I didn't know what to say. When the orcs raided the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters behind to die. 
I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Lore holds that the Skull of Corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The Skull has been out of touch for so long, I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. We mustn't tarry. The Skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Terry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. It's just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the Awakened within. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called The Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. Yes, let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. I assure you, the Dream Stride is well known in Verminian lore. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was embarked could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara that I will do everything within my power to prevent any harm from befalling you. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter 
may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of their mina. I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. The miasma. Never should have come. They're still here. Stop them. Oh. There you go. should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark liquid. If you find it, bring it to me. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drake. Dawnstar's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Let's continue. We still have much to do. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Baron. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers.
your blood! No one's that sore. worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Come. We must get to the skull and destroy it. What's on your mind? Of course. You're mine. Let's see what you're made of. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Is what someone there? I Is knew it. There? <laughs> I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? And had they succeeded, Dawnstar's fate would be sealed. You have a unique way of looking at things, my friend. It's time. 
The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. I call upon you, Lady Mara. A skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I believe I will. I'd construct an Amiga shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. Hello, friend. Mm-hmm. Sorry. My mind was just somewhere else. Uh, do you need a room? Drink. Oh, oh do you, you need, need a room? Something? Here, take a look at this for details. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. You I'll want a drink? You Until like next time. time. Yes. Let me know if there's anything else you need. 